During December of 2017, I visited the southernmost tip of South America, which has a latitude of 54.8 degrees south. This is a place where tours to Antarctica leave from. I'm located about a kilometre in on top of one of the buildings. This is a time lapse of the sun. We're looking towards the north. At this time of the year, the sun is above the Tropic of Capricorn, which is further up towards the north in South America and also goes through Australia. The Tropic of Capricorn is at a latitude of 23.4 degrees south. So the sun can't go any further south than this 23.4 degrees, and we're at 54.8 degrees south. So if the flat earth map is correct, the sun must always stay in the northern part of the sky when viewed from the southernmost tip of South America. On the flat earth map, it would be impossible for the sun to appear in the south here. This is why most flat earthers do not believe that Antarctica experiences 24 hours of sun in December. They believe, based on the flat earth map, the sun must stay in the north. But now we are looking towards the south, and you can clearly see the sun in the south. At this time we know it is daytime in Australia, and the sun is actually directly over the Tropic of Capricorn in Australia. And we are clearly seeing the sun here in the southern direction from South America at the same time. Now the sun has set in the south, but we can see where it is and the camera is still tracking it. Now we are seeing the sun rise again in the south after only a few hours. We know the sun is over Australia, yet we are seeing the sun by looking south from South America. This is what we would expect to see on a globe, but this is totally impossible on the flat earth map.